around since the very beginning of Lorcana. Absolutely. I think as we think back to set one, uh, we Ruby Amethyst was super popular, then Steel Song came along, and they've all existed in the meta since then. And so this always feels like you're watching two of the the grandfather decks of Lorcanas duking it out um, in their in their newest and latest uh, incarnation. Oh, and it's so fun to see every set, the new changes that are made, where it's just kind of refining and making a little bit more powerful, and it's just beautiful. And I'm so excited to see uh, next set. You know what what's going to happen to 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 decks like these? Absolutely. Um, so here we are. It looks like I, I couldn't tell if we were uh, playing cards right, but we're in the the altering hands phase of the game. Mm -hmm. um, players are getting to choose how many cards of their initial hand they want to send to the bottom of their deck to draw some new cards. And it looks like Jackie didn't send that many. Um, mm -hmm. Happy with uh, what he has there. And Jay, um, I can't tell. I, I didn't see how many Jay altered. Jay sent six. So Jay, Jay digging uh, for some some early game cards there. I I love that. I think that's so fun because essentially if you send them all back, you know, that's 14 cards out of the 60 card deck. So like a pretty good percentage chance of finding what you're looking for. And Jay says, I know what I want. I'm going to dig for it. If you're looking for a very specific card in your deck, if you look at 14 cards, uh, you have somewhere near a 70% chance of finding the card that you want. Um, and so it's a very strong mulligan system. And yeah, I think in this matchup in particular, Jay is looking for a very strong opening, an aggressive opening to put Jackie uh, on the back foot. Mm -hmm. um, one note on Jackie's mulligan, uh, Jackie had a whole new world, I believe, in his opening hand. And uh, if he chose to keep it, that's probably one of the reasons we have a very limited uh, hand alter from him, because uh, one of the last things you want to do is alter into another uninkable whole new world that does you no good. Absolutely, because there can only really be one. There can only be one. Oh, good. Um, Jay, he is a king that Flood Rider to play at Olaf. I don't see Olaf a ton running in the in the Ruby Amethyst decks anymore, but a fantastic little card just for one ink. It has a one three and it quests for one, but that three on a first one cost character is can make a huge difference. That's true. So an interesting reason that this card is is has worked its way back into the, into the meta a little bit, um, as we look at uh, Jackie playing a Be Prepared here and, and choosing to discard a non-character card from Jay's hand, there's two options. They're both Be Prepared. Um, yeah. So one of those will be going to the discard pile. But um, yeah, you're right, Becky. Like, Olaf was... These one, three stat line characters used to be very popular in this deck. You saw Olaf and then Mini. Um, they kind of worked their way out. And here it's interesting to see them back in. One of the reasons they're so good, not only are they durable, um, but it also provides a nice target for Teeth and Ambitions, which is a card that does two damage to one of your characters. In return, you get to do two damage to an opposing character. And these one threes on turn one can soak up that damage and, and still stick around. So that's one of the reasons I think that people are saying in this current meta, do you want to build a snowman on turn one, um, where we hadn't seen that uh, for a while. That's a fantastic point and so true. I love that. Uh, Jackie setting up some singers on his field. He has Cinderella Ballroom Sensation. She's singer three. And then we have Ursula as Vanessa. She is a singer four. Um, so a lot of singing power on that side of the board. Playing the, then along came Zeus. Ursula singing that, uh, taking out the Madam Mim Snake. Yeah, and then we see Lawrence played. Lawrence is a, a well-statted card when he has no damage on him with four strength um, and four willpower until he takes damage and then his strength goes away. But also a two-lore character here. So if Jackie's thinking about trying to push the lore total a little bit with an empty board over there, um, it's something that he can start thinking about doing. Absolutely. Yeah, that Lawrence uh, is a ton of fun having the ability to, like the 4-4 four, four stat line on a two or three is, on a three is huge. So having that whenever he takes damage, he loses that is kind of like how we balance the scales. And Jay uh, playing another friendly snowman. Yeah, Jay, uh, I'm I'm sure is not. I mean, we, we saw when he when he altered his hand for six cards that he didn't have the cards that he wanted for his opening turn, and I'm not sure that he found them. Um, the snake line is a is a fun little line to get a well studied character out there on turn two, but I do think that these days these Ruby Amethyst decks, um, even into this matchup, want to be pursuing that frenemy Sisu line, mm -hmm. um, and so not having that available, I think Jay's just trying to get some characters on the board, get some things to stick, um, and then maybe work his way into some rabbits in the mid game to propel him to the end game. Yeah, unfortunately, Jay has many uninkable cards in hand right now. So many. With the rabbits and the be prepared and uh, the ladies remain and the Madame Medusa. So 
uh, this is really putting him quite behind his game plan. I mean, if, if Jay can make it to turn six and turn seven where those options open up, if he has the ink to do it, right. things feel a lot better. But Jackie's going to be able to really push things here, push the lore total and the board state um, in the near term. Yeah, absolutely. Being able to quest aggressively. I mean, singers, we like them to sing, but hey, if it's a free board, let's quest them out, um, which which is great. Uh, Jay able to get um, a Merlin Rabbit on, which allows him to draw a card. And that's that something Jay's very eager to do right now, is, yes. is draw into more inkables. Um, you know, when you play a card game, a TCG, especially in Lur Lur Disney Lorcana is no exception, um, you can kind of think of each deck as having a script that they're trying to play, a story that they're trying to tell, but very set moves that they want to do um, through each turn that varies a little bit by matchup, but knowing that script and playing it out for you is important. It's also super important to know your opponents, and so when you're playing a deck where you know the script and they deviate from that script very early and they're doing things that are suboptimal, it allows you to adjust your game plan and to, and to play the game in maybe a more aggressive way than you otherwise might have, which I think is what Jackie's thinking here. Absolutely. Uh, Jackie dropping the Cinderella Stonehearted. Such a cool card. Uh, one of the fabulous alternative art promos that uh, we're having here at, at the challenge. Um, but she has resist plus two, a 5-5 five, five line with three lore. And when uh, a song, she can challenge exerted or unexerted characters, which is nobody is safe. No, it's such a fun card, and I I do love that these pr Disney princesses are getting this heroic treatment. Absolutely, you know, in Disney Arcana, giving them some more agency and 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 make, putting them in this armor. It's it's really fun. Absolutely. So unfortunately for Jay, there's there's just not a lot of good answers for this character here. Mm -hmm. um, you do have Madame Medusa, but uh, but Cinderella's strength is too high. Um, be prepared is is the ideal answer, or perhaps a Lady Tremaine if there were no other characters on the board. But um, you know that card with its three lore is going to be difficult for Jay to deal with. Um, there, of course, you do have cards like Maui, which can rush into it. But mm -hmm. even then, uh, Cinderella with her resist, resist two means that Maui can't take care of uh, of Cinderella by himself. Absolutely, uh, Jay not able to get to the be prepared quite yet. So um, I feel like Jackie is probably feeling pretty good about playing Cinderella that turn to not have too many threats. Um, and then playing the queen, another very strong lady on the board. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Commanding presence, uh, a very strong card. You usually see her shifted in the early game, but a great card to get on the board. Jackie here is just trying to, to present game and put as many threats on the board as possible. He knows Jay is a one turn away from the be prepared, so if I can put as many oh. characters on the board, as much lore as possible, yeah. then um, yeah, it's going to be very, very difficult for you to 